I remember in 2008, as a non-Muslim, I was stranded in Gaza. It was Ramadan and I saw that the people were doing kind deeds for each other, even though they were poor. So I took this food to a Muslim family in a refugee camp. The mother opened the door, Tafadel, salam alaikum. So full of light and noor and she was living in a cell, nothing to eat, nothing to drink. And I said to her, why are you fasting? I said, I don't think your God loves you. Why does he make you thirsty for 30 days when on day 31, do you have water? She's like, no, we don't have water. Day 31, is your fridge going to be full? She said, no, it will not be full. I said, well then, your God doesn't love you. And she said, in a room of nothing, I fast in Ramadan to remember the poor. I thought at that moment, if this is Islam, let me be Muslim. If there is a faith where you can believe in God and be grateful when you, he's given you nothing that day, if there is a faith where you have one bowl of food and you give it to a stranger, oh my God, wow, this must be it.